have uh, Dr. Pawan Kumar Goenka, chairperson of InSpace, joining us on the broadcast. Thank you very much for giving us your time, uh, Mr. Goenka. You know, questions coming in from the viewers as well. Multiple reactions of how excited people are to witness this touchdown moment, which is going to be historic when it is successful. But I want to understand from you, you know, uh, how are you viewing it? Because People are talking about how this is going to open up the space sector, how this will benefit the defense industry, how this is a big boost to Atma Nirbharta. How are you looking at it? Uh, in case uh, uh, your question is, how does Chandrayaan 3 uh, impact the overall space sector yes. development? Okay. So Chandrayaan 3, uh, as we know, is a scientific mission. Uh, this is not direct commercial uh, uh, activity. Uh, and what the scientific missions do is allow us to understand uh, the overall space uh, much better uh, and that then leads to commercial activity in future so what happened as scientific mission maybe 20 25 30 years ago are becoming commercial activities today and what's happening today in scientific mission will become commercial activity 5 10 15 20 years from now uh, especially when we look at the moon uh, and and uh, obviously there have been many missions uh, to the moon uh, and understanding the moon better uh, to see how we can leverage the resources available uh, can can the soil on the moon be of any use to us uh, can we use the atmosphere to generate fuel uh, all of these things are the answers that we are looking for in the whole scientific community not just india by itself but uh, russia china us and that have already landed on the moon I sort of kind of collaborate to 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 add to the scientific knowledge and uh, understand how we can uh, leverage uh, the 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 planet uh, moon much better much, uh, much more for advantage hmm. you know even before we land isro uh, the team already has achieved a milestone in terms of uh, you know bringing together this project which costs less than a movie which is made in hollywood now this was spoken about a lot in you know in, in uh, looking at india's potential in carrying out such missions in the future as well uh, what is your view on that so I'm having difficulty in the volume. Can you increase the volume? Sorry. Can you hear me now, sir? Uh, yeah, can you repeat? Yeah. Yes, yes. You know, I was wanting your reaction, your response on the fact that uh, ISRO already has achieved a milestone even before landing, which is to bring together a project which costs less than a movie which is usually made in Hollywood. In terms of being cost effective, how do you see this uh, for ISRO? for India, for our future missions? See, I think, look, uh, uh, it is well known that almost all technical activities that, that we do in India, uh, we can do at a fraction of cost of what is uh, done in the Western world. So it should be no surprise that ISRO is able to uh, land our, uh, uh, land on the moon at a much lower cost than anybody, anyone else, uh, uh, including uh, uh, the Russian cost that we were aware of. I think the important thing here is that uh, with a smaller budget, uh, we in India are able to do a lot more uh, than, than what other countries may be able to do with the same amount of budget. And therefore, being uh, going to going to moon uh, with this uh, Chandrayaan 3 and later on uh, having more uh, aspirational uh, projects is something that we can afford to do uh, with the kind of budget that we have. And our, our budget for space is not very large uh, compared to Western countries. but. Uh, uh, dollar stretches much far, as they say, uh, and and therefore we can do we can do a lot more. So I think we should feel good about it. And I see the visuals here on the uh, on the TV screen of whole of India, sort of praying and uh, wishing good luck and uh, prayers happening all of, all over the world, uh, all over India. And this is a sign how the whole country is totally uh, behind uh, what's happening today and looking forward to uh, the outcome. And it really is a tribute to ISRO scientists uh, who have worked for years to make this happen. And tremendous level of confidence, the calmness. I'm here in Bangalore today. And the calmness that I see around people is just just uh, amazing. Everybody is so confident of the final outcome today <clears throat> with a lot of hard work that has gone behind it. Right. Now, for the common man that you just spoke about, uh, they may not understand the technicalities uh, uh, and the technological innovations or advancements or the changes made in terms of the words that are being used by the scientists. But for them, uh, for better understanding, can you, uh, you know, simply put it out for them, what next? Yes, we are all waiting for the landing to happen, successful landing to happen. But once that happens, what is the significance? Uske baad kya hoga? How is that, uh, you know, going to help uh, India? 
I think I think from a common man's viewpoint, uh, the first thing that I always think about is the pride that we bring to our country, uh, that we are able to compete with the leading nations in the world. And the space sector is one of the very few technical sectors uh, where India is uh, kind of at the forefront of technology uh, among the top three or four or five countries in the world. Uh, and that's what gives the pride. That's what everybody is excited about, that India is able to do what uh, we normally don't think of India as being technically advanced and therefore uh, will be able to do. And that's the pride part of it. right? And uh, the common man is not looking at how going to moon is going to improve the day-to-day -day life. Uh, okay, they're not looking at how the satellite is sending me signals, mm -hmm. communication happening to satellite, my crop insurance is happening to satellite, my uh, disaster management is happening to satellite. The benefit of space comes from there. Mm -hmm. the, the, the mission to moon is to understand. And the benefit is coming from how we transmit that understanding to our day-to-day -day life. Right, whether it's communication, navigation, uh, earth observation, all of these things. Uh, and that's what I think what common man must understand, that mm. space is not about one scientific mission every four or five years. Right. Uh, the scientific mission obviously is very important, is something that gives us pride. Mm. Uh, every Indian is feeling so good today. Uh, but that's not what one should look at. One Absolutely. should look at how space is making our life better mm, mm. how space is allowing us to communicate just mm. like what we're doing right now mm. without being physically present together in the same same location Absolutely. how space allows us to understand a natural disaster if you look at uh, the the fatalities that happen in any kind of cyclone today and compare it to 30 40 years ago mm. you will see the difference and a lot of it has happened because of space mm. and that's the value of space exploration mm. Space exploration is the first sort of uh, starting point, which then leads to the benefits that right. we just talked about. Hmm. Absolutely. Dr. Goenka, thank you very much for uh, joining us with your perspective and thank you for making the common man understand how this is going to change our lives on a day-to-day -day basis as well. Uh